What's going on everybody in today's video we're going to be finding out what would happen if only the starters played for every single NBA team so no backups no bench players are playing throughout the entire season for an example here on the Clippers every single starter has 48 minutes and then the backups the bench players like Lou Williams, Zubox, Lou Kennard all have zero minutes and we're going to simulate an entire season with this on every single NBA team I can show you literally Every single team has 48 minutes to the starters and then zero minutes to the backup players. Um, I, I just used most of 2K starting lineups. So on the Lakers, they got Montrez Harrell starting. On the Clippers, he was a backup. I'm not sure what they're going to do with him on the Lakers. I don't know if Gasol is going to start over him or if it is going to be Montrez. Uh, so we're just keeping Montrez in there. And... Um, all the rest of the lineups was just kind of what 2K had on there. Uh, this should be interesting, though. One thing we have to do before we start this thing is come over to general here. And um, I already got them over here to progressive fatigue. Players will not get more tired throughout the entire season because playing 48 minutes a game just isn't going to work for these players. And then also coming over to gameplay, we're going to turn fatigue off completely. So players shouldn't get tired during the game. It's just going to be pretty much how good they are. But I want you to leave your comment down below on which team you think has the best starting lineup. Honestly, I think it's going to be the Lakers uh, with LeBron and AD. They're just super stacked. And then, of course, picking up Montrez, Dennis Schroeder. Their team gets even better this year. Uh, let's simulate the first game, though. They're up against the Clippers. Make sure everything works out fine here. Lakers are going to beat the Clippers 104 to 103. And we were so close. To having everybody play 48 minutes per game on the Clippers. Uh, Marcus Morris played 46, Pat Beverly with 47, and the Lakers, the only person was Jamal Crawford and Dennis Schroeder. So we're pretty much at the 48 minutes per game. The only other thing is the fouls. People will not be playing 48. I guess, I guess we can take off fouls. Because in 2K, if you take off fouls, it doesn't change things. Like, players aren't just going to start fouling. Um... And I actually have to find out where that is. Would that just be in gameplay? Foul out. So we're going to turn foul out off and see if that fixes it. We'll go into game number two. Because uh, other than that, I believe everything is normal. And yes, the Lakers versus Bulls starting off here. So fouls. Nobody actually fouled out this game. But everybody on the Lakers played 53 minutes. Everybody on the Bulls played 53 minutes. Let's see if it turned out the same for every other team. 48, 48. Um, come over to the Mavericks here. 48, 48. So it looks like everybody is playing 48 minutes per game. We got no bench players at all. And let's see what happens during this season. All right, we made it to the All-Star Draft. Uh, like always, it's going to be LeBron and Giannis as the two captains. We're just going to simulate the draft on LeBron's team, we got Harden, Kyrie, Jokic, and Embiid starting. On Giannis's team, Kawhi, Jimmy, Luka, and Trey Young starting. Uh, so nothing crazy right there. Yosef Nurkic is going to get his first All-Star game. And then everybody else is going to be guys that would make the All-Star game normally. All right, Luka Doncic is going to get MVP, and he puts up even crazier numbers than he normally does. This time, he has 45 points per game, 14.8 rebounds, and 11.7 assists. He always averages a triple-double, but not nearly this amount of points. So, Luka liking Luka even more now that he's playing 48 minutes per game. LaMelo Ball gets Rookie of the Year, averaged 22.5, 9.5 rebounds, 7.6 assists. Close to a triple-double himself there as well. Matisse Thibel gets sixth man of the year without playing a single minute. I was I was wondering what was going to happen there. They I guess they just give it to a random guy. Maybe he played a, th a few minutes throughout the season, but he averaged zero points per game. So I doubt he played at all. Jonathan Isaac is going to get defensive player of the year. 2.4 steals and three blocks per game. DeJounte Murray gets most improved player. He's super close to the triple-double as well. A 7.8 assists. That's the only thing that wasn't there. And 3.2 steals per game as well. It was crazy. And Tyron Liu is going to get coach of the year. Uh, coming over to our all NBA first teams. We got Luka, Trey Young, LeBron, Kawhi, and Joel Embiid. The second team, we got Lillard, Curry, Giannis, AD, and Jokic. And on the third team, we got Harden, Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum, Jimmy Butler, and Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond making an all NBA team, which is pretty crazy. Uh, all defensive teams right here. 
And then I don't know how many rookies ended up playing. I guess for the bad, I guess all of these guys pretty much played during the season. They're all on bad teams that needed them to play anyways. Checking out the standings. So I thought the Lakers were going to do the best. Lakers did not do great. Clippers on top. Of course, Tyrone Lue did get coach of the year. Then we have Dallas, which I was not expecting at all. The Denver Nuggets, Pelicans, Lakers, Trailblazers, Rockets, and then Jazz, the final team to make playoffs. And the worst team in the West is going to be OKC. Their team got a lot worse this offseason, but they have so many draft picks. They're going to be great in a few years. And then going over to the East, uh, 76ers with the best record. They actually get the most wins in the entire NBA, 65 wins on the season. Got the Bucks, Hawks, Celtics, Magic, Nets, Heat, and the Raptors, the final team to make playoffs. The worst team in the East is going to be the Chicago Bulls with only 20 wins on the season. I thought they definitely would have done quite a bit better than the Knicks. That's kind of surprising, but it is what it is. Let's come over to our season stats now. League leaders, of course, Luka is going to be on top with those 45 points per game. Uh, Trey Young, almost with 40 as well. How many players got over 30 points per game? We got a ton of players. 25 players averaged over 30 points per game. Usually there's like two to three players averaging over that rebounds per game we got andre drummond with 23.5 rebounds per game assists lebron james with 13 and a half steals was dejounte murray blocks we had rudy gobert with four blocks per game uh ben simmons still shooting 63 percent and from three-point line cj mccullum actually shot the best 48.2 percent i guess a lot of the top shooters in the nba are actually backups, so they did not play throughout the season. There was a lot of starters, Harden, Curry, Middleton, Kyrie, all up in the top five there. So Doncic dropped the most points with 69. Most field goals, Ingram had the most field goals attempted. Three-pointers made, Luka hitting 15. That's going to set a new NBA record. And then Brandon Ingram shot 29 in a single game. Uh, did not make as many as Luka, though. Free throws, Cat had 26. Free throws attempted, Giannis had 29. Rebounds, Gobert with 36. Assists, Harden with 26 steals. Gary Harris had 10 one game. 11 blocks for Mitchell Robinson. And then Russell Westbrook played 58 minutes in a single game as well. So a lot of the records should have been broken this season. League history, NBA records will go to a season. So we'll come over here to points per game. Luca is going to get second all time, only behind Wilt. He beats a few of, of the other Wilt records. And then Trey Young is going to get five. Uh, Embiid, Kawhi, all up here as well in the top 10. For field goal percentage, did we have anybody here? Uh, no, nobody in 2021. Three point percentage, I doubt. Yeah, nobody up there either. Free throw, nobody's going to be up there. Or actually, yeah, we got one player up there, Devin Booker, shooting 95.6% this season. Rebounds per game. Um, What was Gobert? Gobert was really close to getting up here. He had 20 point something, did he not? So he barely missed out on getting up there in the record books. Assists per game. Again, uh, we got LeBron James and Trey Young in the top 10. Blocks per game, Gobert was very close to getting up there. He had four blocks per game, needed 4.3. Steals per game, DeJounte Murray is going to be up here. And Chris Paul as well in the top 10. Minutes per game, surprisingly, nobody beat out Wilt's record of 48.5 minutes per game. But we got a ton of players over 48 minutes per game, considering every starter played 48 minutes per game at least. And then every single foul record is going to be broken here because we had unlimited fouls players could foul as many times as they wanted without getting kicked out of the game so all of those are going to be broken of course Demarcus Cousins is up here 40 point games Luka Doncic had 61 40 point games this season and 50 point games Luka had 27 so making it out of the first round Clippers gonna beat the Jazz the Lakers beat the Pelicans the Trailblazers beat the Nuggets, and then the Mavericks beat the Rockets. And in the East, 76ers defeat the Raptors. Uh, Magic defeat the Celtics. That's 
Very surprising. Did not think the Celtics would get first rounded. The Atlanta Hawks defeat the Nets. I thought the Nets would have been the team coming out of the East here. And then the Heat beat the Bucks. So let's simulate through another round. Not at all was that what I was expecting out of the first round, but making it out of the second round. Uh, we got the Clippers defeating the Lakers. I thought the Lakers were going to be the team to win it all. Mavericks beat the Trailblazers. 76ers beat the Magic. And then the Heat beat the Hawks. So, I mean, kind of expected in the East here, 76ers, Heat, nothing crazy right there. Surprised the Mavericks did so well. But let's see which two teams are going to make the NBA Finals. And it is going to be the 76ers and the Clippers hopping in to game number one here. 76ers take a 1-0 lead, a 2-0 lead, a 3-0 lead for the 76ers. And Clippers finally going to get a game right here. Uh, Kawhi Leonard dropping 38 points. And in game number five, the 76ers blow out the Clippers. It's not even close. 120 to 94. Not what I expected at all. I thought the, the Clippers definitely would have won this game. I mean, their team is very good. Joel Embiid is going to get finals MVP here. 41.4 points per game. 18 rebounds as well as three blocks. And he shot amazing. He shot 41% from the three-point line. They're doing a lot better. Now that he's playing 48 minutes per game and 76ers are our champs. That's going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy it, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. This has been your boy Smequel and I will see you next time. Peace. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen, she lent me the eating. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. Do whatever do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breaststrokes. Cut throat from the low, low window.